night. Don't do it. I need Hello, everybody, and welcome to this Valdosta Daily Times weekend sports preview. I'm Ed Hooper, and I'm here with head Valdosta State softball coach Thomas Masseri. Coach, thanks for joining us. And uh, deservedly so, your team is in the Super Regionals this year, 51 and 4. I guess just talk about this year and what kind of amazing ride it's been so far. Uh, it's it's been a really blessed year. I mean, girls have played hard and uh, had some breaks here and there when they needed them, and uh, just a lot of stuff that's come together for us this year. Super Regionals are this weekend against Florida Southern. What can you tell us about what the mocks are going to bring to the table? They're real aggressive on the bases. Uh, you know, they got a pitcher with a .86 ERA with a whole lot of strikeouts. Uh, they're a very solid team defensively, so uh, it should be a really good matchup. Freshman outfielder Courtney Albritton was named the Conference Player of the Year and Freshman of the Year. What has she meant to this team this year? She's been so much fun to watch. Oh, she's you know she's just a phenomenal player and, and you know has made a lot of big plays for us. She's leading the team in hitting. Uh, she just she just gives you everything she's got when she's here and just, just helps elevate the players around her. You pride your team on defense and the way it's played. And the other day we saw some great defensive plays and the output by all Britton and Claire Wamsley. But all around your defense is the reason you guys are going to be in the running for national championship. Oh, absolutely. We robbed two home runs. You know, Marty Littlefield makes a play up the middle on a line drive dive. You know, Sam Posey made a couple really key plays for us there on the short game uh, that puts a lot of pressure on defenses. and. and come up clean. So our defense has just you know, been tremendous all year. We talk about uh, this Super Regional and how we want this to be a lot of big crowd Friday night, but you've had some great crowds this season. I know we talk about the Blazer crowd all the time. I think we've broken two attendance records already this year. Talk about the crowd and what it's meant to your players this year to play in front of them. Oh, uh, it's awesome. The girls just, they just can't believe it. you got so many people coming out here to watch them play. And when you're on the road, you know, there might be 50 people in the stands. And, you know, you come out here and there's, you know, several hundred, you know, as high as 600, 700 here is, you know, cheering for these girls and, and into the game and, and just, you know, the girls feel that backing and it's just, you know, it's, it's pretty exciting to see. Hey, Coach Thomas Massera and his Blazers are in action Friday night at 6 o'clock, then again Saturday at 1 against the Mox, and hopefully that is it this week uh, against Florida Southern. Then on to the National Championship, Coach. I mean, we know it's one game at a time, though, for you and your Blazers, even though it's six wins to the National Championship. Yeah, I mean, we're not even looking past Friday night at this point. You know, last week we weren't looking past Rollins, you know, and, uh, and you couldn't, obviously, you know, uh, one-on-one against them and had to win in the if game. So the same thing this weekend is you can't look past Florida Southern. They're here for a reason. They have what it takes to, to win. So you know, we have to focus on Friday night first. This coach right here, by the way, was the coach of the year in the conference. So, Coach, we know your players deserve the accolades, and so do you as well. Congratulations on that honor as well. And a great year, and hopefully much more to come the rest of the year. Appreciate it. Thank no you. Problem. Coach Thomas Messier and the Blazers in action Friday night. Until next time, I'm Ed Hooper. Have a good day.